It's December, and that means Christmas adverts. Event Christmas adverts. Like the Elton John Lewis ad. Here's a confession. I don't like the John Lewis adverts. I don't like the man in the moon. I don't like the trampoline dog. I didn't like Moz the monster. I don't like the Elton John biopic. So, I posted a sarcastic tweet about them. The John Lewis advert cost £7 million. £7 million. Pounds. John Lewis. Advert. It doesn't even have a call to action. It's all in capitals. It's clearly sarcasm, but it started something. Andy, you brung out the copy explainers. Do you regret this tweet? I don't, because it showed that people are measuring the success of adverts in the wrong way. You don't need a CTA to lock in lasting connections with an audience. In an ocean of over-commercialised noise at Crimbo, John Lewis repeatedly produced moving treatments that tug heartstrings and add more cachet to its mark. I'm no Elton John fan, but it was brilliantly done. Who needs a call to action? The media and you are doing it all for them. A call to action? The mere fact that you've acknowledged the John Lewis Christmas advert as a thing of relevance means that they've already got you. Are you detecting a theme? Apparently a good advert is an advert that people talk about, that engages with them emotionally, and that they like on YouTube. It's not though, is it? A good advert for a shop is one that sells products and services. I've spoken to loads of people about the John Lewis adverts, not just advertisers. My wife, my mum, people at the football. Not one of them, not a single one, has spent any money at John Lewis. Here's a fact for you. John Lewis's profits fell by 99% this year. After years of engaging adverts that people loved, their sales tanked. It's not a one-off. Profits dropped in 2015 and 2016, even as their advertising campaigns were winning awards, starting conversations and getting millions of social media likes. I mean, obviously the decline of the high street hasn't helped, but award-winning adverts haven't helped them book that particular trend. Listen, this isn't me attacking John Lewis. It's not even me taking offence at being copy-splained on Twitter. It's all about how your business needs to approach advertising. You need to judge how effective your marketing is. Not based on whether you like an advert or a sales letter or your website. Not based on whether your gran likes a social media post. But on what an advert does for your bottom line. Something that we take seriously at Hampson Nat and Williams. It's what our data-driven content creation is all about. Judging whether the marketing assets we create deliver results. And then testing and improving to deliver even bigger results. Not more likes or more shares or more conversations, more sales. So ask yourself one question. How do you judge how successful your marketing is? Is it what you like or is it what works? You know what the answer should be.